Welcome to Mrs. Geek's Photo Zone. We have bite-sized tips covering taking photos with iPhones or Android phones, making photos better with editing and creative tools, and keeping your lifetime of photos organized and accessible with these tools, Google Photos. What do you have this week, Chris? <laughs> well, let me see. So we have taking photos, making them better, keeping them, and sharing them. Today, we're going to just look at making photos better and maybe taking a better photo to start with. You know how sometimes photos are too dark? That's what we're going to look at. And first, I want to show you how you can fix photos that you've already taken. So go ahead and get out your phone, open your photos, see if you can find one that looks a little bit dark, and I'll show you how to lighten it up. And I'm going to do this mo all on the phone. A lot of this can be done on the computer, but you're taking these photos with your phone, and I want you to know that you can just edit them right with your phone. And I will start then with the iPhone. And I'm using Google Photos. I might have a chance to show you how you can do it with the photo editor that came with your iPhone, but Google Photos really is better. So let's look at this photo. It is really dark. All I have to do is tap the edit button, which is the one in the middle. It looks like little sliders on three adjustment lines. I'll tap Enhance. Boom. You didn't even see that there was a deer there. It was so dark. But you just tap Enhance and it brightens it right up. Now, I'm going to want to do that again, so I'm going to cancel rather than saving it. Now, how about this guy, though? This was a good-looking guy in Italy. But if I tap Edit and Enhance, it doesn't do much. What I want is where his face is so dark in the shadows. I want to brighten that up. Well, there's an extra feature. You have to scroll over until you see Adjust. And this feature exists both on the Apple Photos and on the Samsung Gallery as well. It's called Shadows. So I find the one called Shadows. There's a whole bunch of adjustments here. I find the one called Shadows. And now there's a slider. The, fur the greater the number in the slider, the more light goes into the shadows. Look at that. Just makes his face come to life there. So, isn't that great? <laughs> you can have a dark photo and you can make it better. Now that was on the iPhone. I can do the exact same thing on my Android, my Samsung. Once again, I'm still using Google Photos, though. So I will open up that guy. You tap the Edit button. And then Enhance, and it doesn't do enough. Adjust and find Shadows. And increase the number and we've gotten rid of the shadows on, on his face. Now, what if you wanted to make sure that you took the picture right, though? Let me show you a really special one here. And this was outside, and it was really dark. You can, you can see there's a full moon up in the sky here, and this is a light in a doorway. Let's see if we can fix this. Edit. And I'm even going to try this premium feature here called Dynamic. You have to be a paid subscriber to Google Photos to use this one. I'll tap Dynamic. And it's a lot better. You can see that there's a fountain here. But let me show you. If you, before you took the picture, put your phone into night mode, there's what you'll get. And that is just beautiful. So what do I mean by night mode? If you have 
This is a Samsung camera. Camera. And under more, there's night. So if you thought, of, thought to do that beforehand, you put it into night mode, then you take the picture, then the exposure is just beautiful. And you have something similar on your Pixel, right, Jim? Right. It's called Night Sight. And it's right on the camera in the different modes. So Night Sight, and it will expose. Don't turn on your flash. The, f that, the flash on these little phones just isn't enough to do anything. And it will mess up the camera's innate ability to set the proper exposure. So keep your flash off. Want to know how to do that? <laughs> Let me show you. So this is the Samsung, the Android phone, in the camera under photo. So you're just taking photo. Up at the top, the lightning bolt stands for flash. Tap it and you have off, auto, and on. I think it should be off. So have a line through it, off. Because if it's on auto and you're in a dark room, it's gonna flash. And I think you'll get better pictures with the built-in exposure capabilities. On the, on the iPhone in camera, there is the flash and it has a line through it, so I'm good. If you tap it and it turns yellow, that puts it on, that puts it off, you want it off. Now, I do think Google Photos is the best at this, but in case you don't use Google Photos, I want to show you just how you would eliminate shadows using both the iPhone Photos and the Samsung Gallery. First, the iPhone. So I'm talking about this app, the I call that Apple Photos. And so here is my handsome man from Italy whose face is all in the shadows. I tap the, the word edit on the iPhone. And now you have all sorts of things here, but I just want to find the one called shadow. Notice as I move over, the word tells me what I'm at. And I want shadows and I want to increase the light in the shadows. There we go. I think he looks lots better. So that's the iPhone. And note there is all sorts of different features in there for editing. On the Samsung, I'm talking about gallery. So I would open that same, that same photo. And edit is this edit pencil on the Samsung gallery. And then this, this one is light. You can play with all of these, but I'm just going to go straight to the light and scroll over until I see shadows. And I'm going to increase the light in, in the shadows. That didn't do all that great. So you might have to play with some other, some other settings on, on the Samsung. Now you see why I say that I think Google Photos is the best, but there are all these tools built into your iPhone or your Samsung. So there, dark photos, no problem. Usually you just fix them afterwards. Do I don't pay that much attention to when I'm taking, I'm just snapping pictures and I want you to know that you can brighten them up later. But if you want to set your exposure, when you take the picture, there are tools for doing that too. I am Mrs. Geek. <laughs> and I am Mr. Geek. And we are Geeks on Tour, and this is Mrs. Geek's Photo Zone. Catch us next time. <laughs>